So what you want to do when you're setting up a portrait, if you're going to be doing it to the scale of life, you're going to want to try and line it up with the model. And I'll tell you a bit more about that sp more specifically in a moment. Um, Try that. You sit there. Thank you. Okay. So now, let's see how close we are. Very good. So, I have my canvas. Um, could you? actually it turned all the way this way so you want the if you're doing a life-size portrait you want the canvas to be lining up somewhere between the uh like his temple and the his his ear um and if you just line up the painting uh somewhere within that range uh it'll be a life-size portrait the farther back you go behind the head the bigger than life-size it's going to be the farther forward you go the um, smaller it will be because sight size is a method of, you can relax. <laughs> sight size is a method of visually comparing um, the subject and your canvas. And you have a sort of one to one ratio. So like I said, if it comes forward, the perspective will make it so that it's smaller than life size compared to your subject. Um, or we'll, comparing them, they will always be the, sa always be the same size. And then, um, the farther back you go, the bigger. So right now, I have it just behind his eye, that's temple, and I'm gonna make sure that the top is just a few inches above his head. If you could turn just a little this way, yeah, and then your eyes here. And then the bottom, sort of, you know, let's see, I'm gonna, could you bring your hair forward on this side? Yeah, brilliant. And then, is it all right if I move your hair? Okay, so we're gonna have some there, and then maybe a few strands here, yeah. Okay, really nice. I like how that sort of like adds a length to the um, portrait. It's really nice and elegant. Um, I'm gonna bring the shirt in just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm really liking this. Those earrings are super cool. And so like I said, the top of the easel, as you can see here, is just a few inches above his head. And then the bottom of it, just enough room for the hair. Um, it's looking really good. And those are the heights. This is a plumb line. Just a bit of thread, um, sewing thread, whatever. Um, and a bit of metal ring to have a weight. And I'll be using this to take my measurements. So I keep my sort of shoulder is relaxed and then I just lock my elbows, close one eye to flatten the image. Um, and my dominant eye is my left eye. Uh, I think you'll just sort of, over time, it'll just come naturally, like which eye you observe with. Um, and then I'll sort of try and keep the line as perpendicular as possible. And I take measurements you know, top of the model's head, um, and then my the plumb line leads across the canvas, and then I would make a note of that. Um, this is my charcoal. Got need some charcoal. Got my kneaded eraser. Um, you can also use. Uh, so yeah, the thing is with side size and the plumb line and taking measurements, I honestly will just grab a brush, 
take the top, take the bottom, maybe the bottom of the nose, and then sort of just go from there. Um, but that's after having developed, you know, my eye and my, I've just like done a lot of portraits. So don't be too dependent on taking measurements. I would recommend taking as little as you probably could. Um, and just using your eye, you know, it's a visual process. So flashing your eye from the sitter to the canvas and just seeing, you know, rather than measuring whether it needs to go up or down, just seeing whether it goes up or down. And then if you really can't tell, then that's when you can use your plumb line to double check. And so like I said, like, it's important to keep the model at like, uh, like eye level so it's not distorted. It's also important to uh, not lift your head up when you're taking measurements or lifting it down. You sort of just want to like keep your head straight and then make the measurements from there um, to have it as accurate as you can. But like I said, don't take too many measurements. <laughs> um, okay, very good. This is the pose. Brilliant. 